when we're live. We are live. <laughs> All right, everyone. Woo. We are still waiting for Amelia and um, Jared, but uh, we're super excited to kick off uh, kick off this live calling cold calling session. While we're waiting, I was thinking we could do intros um, because we know Amelia and Jared don't need intros. <laughs> Um, so I, I'll kick things off and then we can go around the circle and, and give, um, give intros to everyone and then get started with calling. So I'm Rohan. I'm one of the co-founders of Nooks. We build a virtual sales floor and power and parallel dialer. So your team can do dials together while remote. Um, and we're in Nooks right now, actually. So we're super excited to be hosting this session along with Rev Genius, which Jared should be coming soon. <laughs> um, uh, do we want to go around, uh, Rebecca and then Jake and Junior and so on? Yeah. Hey everyone. I am Rebecca. I am Ooh. calling with, Oh, look at all the new people that joined okay. us. <laughs> um, I am calling with second nature and this is my second time back and I'm in a random hotel right now outside of the conference. So if you see other people joining, it's because I'm going to also try to cold prospect the people around me. So <laughs> I love that. Does it count if Rebecca books a meeting like IRL in, in real life? I'm going, I mean, I'm going door knocking then if she's doing that. I'm <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so really? I'll do like record. Oh, God. D does it count if, if it's truly cold? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, is this as cold as it gets? Yeah. You I know mean, what? Chicago. No, we're, we're, we're going to say no. Oh. Until, <laughs> I don't know. Let's, uh, Perhaps this is this is for cold calling. Yeah, we we'll just do, see what happens. What is what is the general? I, you shouldn't look for consensus for everything, but like, what 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 does everybody feel here? Oh, definitely yes. Yeah. If she can pull it off, yeah. let's uh, let's count it. Let's count it. I mean, entertainment. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do it. Do it. The goal is optimizing meetings. Amelia's. About to get in her car. I could see it already. Hold on. This. Yes, oh, yes. Sidewalk. Two things at once. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right. We still got to go here. We got. We just started with Rekka. We got Jay Junior. Um, yeah, we, we got interrupted by the Queen and uh, Jared. Oh, oh. So, uh, I'm Jake I'm the Jared. Alba with uh, Sandler uh, Training. Sorry, Jared, I don't know you. I don't know your infamy yet, but I'm sure I'll get to know you. Uh, you on, my, on one of my posts one time. Did you know that? <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> and he promoted things on my post, so I was promote worthy. So Jake, it was probably, I agree. You know, it's probably one of my uh, followers was, that posts for me, you know? I think it was Ryan. He was Ryan. Shout out Ryan. Yeah, yeah, Ryan's Ryan's awesome, by the way. Ryan Reiser, love you if you're watching, dude. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have fun, make some cold calls, and uh, try and dethrone Amelia. And uh, if I don't, hey, I'm gonna have fun either way, so let's go. Very cool. Hey, everyone, I'm Junior Soul Seller here at Pickle AI, capturing and sharing key moments on Zoom, conversation intelligence tool, round two. Me and Rebecca, let's go. Me? Are we popcorning? Yes, to you. All right, you got to say popcorn I'm to you, Amelia. Okay. <laughs> yeah. oh. um, so, hello, I'm Amelia Taylor. I am, um, I'm in, I am an account executive at the Carabiner Group. And look at Jared putting up his ponytail. Look at him getting ready. Um, so, I am here to continue to just kind of push things in a little unorthodox way as cold calling is not my um, not my main focus, but I don't think you have to have it as your main focus necessarily to be able to do it well if you can match that persona and the value that goes with it. That's all. Popcorn. Oh, dude. <laughs> no, no, who's Ooh. not been? Yay. Yeah, who doesn't Ooh. then? Popcorn to Jared. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm Jared. Uh, I, I, I kind of wanted to go into a, a hip hop song from when I was oh, a kid. Yeah. My name Ooh. is Jared and I'm here to say I play baseball every day. I play yeah. with my friends, Chris and De Beckers. I always hit upper deckers. 
my ace is Chris, and he's here to say, uh, wait, he's here to he's here to play b- baseball, football, the county fair. I don't even know. Did I mean, you geez, I, I had that memorized. I had it memorized. It and, went really next good. in line is Matt, and no, he's not fat. He's skinny like Minnie Mouse that wears a blouse knot and has polka dots. So I was in like first grade when I created that. So take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Bro, I love it. I may have been in 12th grade, unknown, but you get the Matt idea. We don't know. So I'm I'm Jared. I'm co-founder of Rev Genius, Rev League, all the, the goodness oh, that, that we have coming out. We're here on our six weekly wow it's been six um amelia's won four that's how i knew this number <laughs> uh, last week we had a tie with rebecca and junior who did phenomenal in amelia's absence and she's gonna have tougher competition um rev genius community we're we're, we're hitting thirty thousand sales marketing rev ops customer success pros um we're free uh we have tons of programming we're leveling up tremendously i was late because um was organizing our OKRs and click up so that we could literally crush it harder for all of you. Um, Rev League is focused around the SDR role now, both pro and boot camp. Boot camp 100% free, like no if, ands, or buts to get in. We just made our program eight weeks from four weeks. I'm going to literally drop a LinkedIn post as these folks are cold calling with a link to what that program is, like a, like a click up doc with like every single week. Um, making it as easy as possible to get into SaaS and level the playing field. Our mission is a little longer today uh, to bring inspiration and creativity to all revenue pros. To do that, we need to create a level playing field, so to speak, and, um, and, and, and give access. No dollars to get in means more access. That's the mission, right? We charge $10. There's less access. Uh, we'll charge the companies that don't worry. Thank you all <laughs> for being here. And, and we're really excited to be here. Oh, and I think Yehuda has to uh, also intro himself as well. So you want to yeah. wrap it up? Yeah, you got it. Uh, hi, I'm Yehuda Wexler. Uh, I'm an STR at Ogterra Networks. Um, I sell to uh, IT folks. It's Network Observability Platform. And I've been an STR for about three months now. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. Right. Well, let's kick things off then. Um, so just as a reminder, guys, the format, we're going to keep the format the same um, as last time. So we're going to dial in your own room um, by clicking that new room button over on the right side of your screen right here. Jared and I will be hopping around between the rooms as people get live calls and pickups. A few of you guys are going to be using your dialer and have loaded up your uh, you know, um, calls already to our dialer. So we'll be able to see that and hopefully... They'll rip through some calls there. Uh, sweet. Um, all right, let's get started. <laughs> let's go. You got it. All right, let's, let's go. Oh my gosh, too many noises. We're, we're, we're going to be providing commentary. We got lots of clapping. <laughs> Jake's been talking trash. I, just I know. Got, I just got a, I just I got a cold email. That's, I, I got a cold email. The little commentary as we're going. Got a cold email that said, I will save the next 21 steps in my sequence. So wouldn't you fucking like that? Pardon my French. But this email isn't even relevant. You asked me about my first 180 days. I've been doing this two years. That's that's wow. this one. Um, and uh, I'm in, in a really good company. And I know that. And, and they said, we compare versus this other company, which, by the way, I'm not using either. So there is zero relevancy. It was a data company. Uh Come on, come on, y'all. There's data out there for this. <laughs> I do remember that. That was irrelevant at scale. You want to? Is data important? Fuck yeah, it's important. We work. We work with companies against Zoom Info. I'm not using Zoom Info. First 180 days. I've been doing this for two years. <laughs> Last I checked, there's 365 in a year, so I'm four times that. <laughs> save you 21 steps. I'll save you 21 steps. You're <laughs> out. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Bro, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get to that. All right, Jake. We'll see you. Just, just keep it real. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. How funny is that? Like, like be relevant. 
I, it happens, man. People people make mistakes. That's it. It happens. I, no, I've no, definitely been there too. I've been there too. I missed up. Understood, what, what but it's it's so relevancy versus personalization, and that's something that we'll we'll definitely talk about later in Outbound Two Point Oh. Um, personalization. Hi, Jared. I see that you're from New York. Me too. That's cool. But like, what's more important to me is saying like, hey, I see that you're on the Slack free plan, you have 30,000 people, your messages must be disappearing, right? Yeah. We've created a solution to backfill your messages and get the data out. Wow. That is exactly what's going on. I think uh, Junior's giving him voicemail. Let's see. Next week, if it piques your interest or you'd like to tell me stop reaching out. Yeah. You just got a pickup. Okay, let's join. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so I see here you're a, a senior a, a network analyst over at Nasdaq, right? Hey, uh, hey is this a sales call? It is. It is a sales okay, call. Do me a favor. Remove this number. This is a personal number. I do not want you to call us again. Thank you. You got it. It's tough. That's tough. <laughs> it happens, though. It happens. <laughs> it's, it's just how yeah, it is it's Oh man. All right. Let's uh we'll hop in Amelia's room. She's already got a pickup. Let's see what she can do. All right. Um, I'm calling on behalf of Lead Magic. So I'm not sure if you've heard of Lead Magic. It is a uh it's a tool that I use and it's where you're able to see all the anonymous visitors that come to visit your website. So I was looking at I was looking at your LinkedIn. Actually, I have it up as we speak. And seeing as though you are, your work is guided on by commitment to integrity, building powerful relationships and making a positive impact. I thought, okay, this totally goes back to exactly what this is with you making a positive impact for the reps that you guys have and that you bring on um, to be able to see those insights as to who is actually visiting your website, generating those inbound leads, hopefully turning those people into pipeline and then eventually customers. Um, I have a free trial I'd love to pass your way. Is that something that you think would be beneficial? Yeah, always always open to, to checking things out, especially if they help me out. So, you know, your, your, your outreach here is welcome. Thank oh, you. my gosh. You're my favorite. Maybe I should just call you over and over and then just, just be someone new each time because, like, you're my favorite person that I'm talking to right now. And you're the first person I'm talking to. So, um, awesome. all about it. So, you are... Um, Oh, so, okay, I'm looking at, okay, sorry, I'm continuing to look at your LinkedIn right now for at Slide Pockets. So you're doing go-to-market lead stuff right now. Yes. So you're kind of building out your go-to-market function and just process. Correct. Cool. Okay, so this is really insightful with kind of going along with that just because it will give you all that leg up to see those insights. But I want to do this. Um I want to include Jesse Allett, who's the founder of Lead Magic, who can give a much deeper insight into how it can help you guys specifically. Um, okay. So I want to include him on a quick call with um, the three of us. So let me see. I'm looking at my calendar right now. We, you're, um, you're Central Time, correct? Correct. Okay. What if we do? But if we do one da, 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 tomorrow, I know it's end of month. Totally acknowledge that. This will give you all a push going into next month, actually, because it's so quick. It's like five minutes. Just, you know, get it up and going. Um, so if you want to be aggressive alongside me, what if we do something tomorrow around 1.30 or we can do earlier 10.30, which would be 9.30 your time. I'm Eastern. So 9.30 central or 12 30 central tomorrow are you free yeah, let, let, yeah let's do 9 30 that works for me you are like i'm not kidding you're one of my favorite people um you're just so you're so easy to chat with let's just stay on the phone i'm just kidding i know you've got work to do <laughs> so that's the work to do but yeah no, tomorrow 9 30 for sure works my time so. amazing all right i'm sending an invite your way as we speak will you tell me but you just tell me what your email is super quick. I just want to make sure I have the right one. I've got two different ones. Yeah, it's the one. Uh, um, let's do uh, at SidePocket, A-R 
T is in town, U R mm-hmm. at sidepocket.com. Amazing. Okay, cool. Good deal. I am sending this to you and to Jesse as we speak. You should get that in your inbox in the next two minutes. Go ahead, if you will, accept that just so we have it populated across our calendars. And then I am looking forward to chatting tomorrow. This is myself, so feel free if you've got any questions, shoot me a text or anything if you um, if you have any questions that come up or anything like that. Okay. Well, sounds awesome. good. Look forward to our chat tomorrow. Yeah, to absolutely. Time. All right. Go take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Go kick butt, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. <laughs> All right. Talk soon. Bye. <laughs> I love it. What a nice human. I love how you built the rapport and was just like. (laughs) I feel like it wasn't like prepared to speak to anyone yet today. (laughs) You wouldn't. Sometimes it happens. Your first pickup, you don't expect it. You're like, oh, shoot. First one. No, I know. I like like, called three people before and it like, like rang twice, went to voicemail. And I was like, okay, clearly people don't want to talk to me today. It's fine. Um. And then it didn't even ring. Like, oh, you did like twice. Then he picks up and I'm like, oh, okay. Hey. Because <laughs> I was like, what am I even doing? People, so, Amelia, people want to know, you, what what was your opening? People on the chat, uh, on the live stream are asking. What was your opening? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Is this recorded, by the way? This is all recorded, yes? It is. It is. Okay, but I'm yeah. not sure if we were so in the I, room when you guys started. We were listening to uh, um, someone else's. I, oh, oh, my, oh, okay. This is what I said. I said, um, hey, is this archery? Okay, great. Um, hey, listen, I know I'm calling you out the blue. Do you have just a second? I've got an idea for you that I want to run by real quick. Does that work? And he's like, yeah. Love it. Just one of those, one of those people that says, yeah. Yeah. They're like, okay. <laughs> I'm okay now. I don't know what my idea was. <laughs> so I had a list through like sales nav. He is, and I had it to where keyword there's go to market or go to market strategy, all of that. So I set these keywords. So I've got the a list of people who are literally <laughs> working on their like go to market strategy right now. Yeah. So he's the director of business development, obviously they're scaling, they're growing. They just got round of funding. So I knew all that prior to going into it. So those are things I can keep in my back pocket for the company side pocket. Yeah. Fun. Intended. It's been very much so intended, but I think that that's one of the big things to be able to do is just knowing those little things like that and doing your due diligence and research why, like simultaneously. Yeah. So you can be like, Oh, I actually, oh yeah, you're doing your go to market. Um, oh good. Um, you're doing, you know, you're working on your go to market process right now. This actually rolls into that really well. So let's set up this next call with someone who can talk, you know, high level. So um yeah. I hope that answers your question. Cool. Yeah, that was great. That was great for the audience. Let's go to Junior. Junior has a live call, Jared. Let's do it. Relevancy for the win. Absolutely. Really talking to the wrong person. I don't have really any say whatsoever um, in any of that. And I also know that it's not something that they are looking to change or like get information on right now. Um, and the reason I say that is we recently just made the switch and we are totally fine with the tech stack that we currently have and not really looking to make changes until we sort of give what we have a try and try to just like to figure out any inefficiencies sort of like as we do it. But it's not something that we've done long enough to, to make any more changes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Investment. I mean, you, you recently made an investment and you're not sure if it's the you, switching right now would be a mistake. It seems like, um, okay, Corey, let me ask you a question then. If you're in my shoes, and mm-hmm. I, you want to have a conversation with me, right? What would you say I should do next to keep the conversation relevant so that when the investment period shows up, it's natural for us to think Jake just booked a meeting. Dude, that's a, you know, it's a great question. And I love that. I, I imagine that I'm probably on this LinkedIn cold calling thing live right now, which is totally cool. So shout out to everybody there. Um, 
My recommendation to you is Love to it. find the contact information. I'm going to make you do a little homework. I'm not going to tell sure. you who that is, but I would go try to find our director of sales and I would try to find our, our CSO, um, send them an email, do an introduction and say, Hey, listen, I know you guys just recently, um, you know, upgraded your tech stack and you're working with HubSpot. Um, I have a tool here that I think would be really useful for you because, and then list two or three of your top value props. Um, and what you guys are, uh, what problems you're solving in the space that we will then, um, and say, Hey, it's a cool if I reach out to you in 90 days, once you guys are kind of evaluating what you have now, um, and see if you can sort of like plant the seed. Cool. I I'm happy to do that. Do you mind if when I reach out, I use your name and say that we had a brief conversation? I'd rather you didn't, man, to be honest with you, just cause I'm super new here, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of what I would, what I would give you as far as advice. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. Lots of info here. I'll take it and uh, run from there. Thanks, man. Appreciate the call today. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Corey. Bye. All right. Not, not bad, Alicia. Yeah. I, it's... Why is Rebecca here? She's always <laughs> jumping into my stuff. You know, I'm just jumping in, trying <laughs> a little, checking out the competition. I know really what I wanted to do was hear how you were. I heard you were amazing, and I actually haven't been able to hear your calls yet, so. Mm. With that being said, I'm going back to my own room. <laughs> is, like, I'm back is Jake work. on? Back to work. I think Jake is. Looks on. like Jake, Jake just on? booked a meeting. He might be. <gasps> might booked a meeting. Mm. Junior, I will yeah, say Jake. one thing I liked is you asked for permission about whether you mentioned the name. I think that's like something you should always do before you know mentioning people's names. So, all right, I'm gonna hop into. Yeah, I'm gonna I hop into Jake, sure. Jake's. Hey, Two p.m. And uh, good luck with all the builds, man. Don't uh, don't don't get hurt. All right, you're working too much. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Okay, all right. Okay, you have a good day. Hey, we'll see you then. Thanks. Okay, bye bye. All right. One. We got called out for LinkedIn live cold calling. This is how big this is getting. <laughs> the prospects the know the on the session. That's amazing. The prospects know, the prospect goes, I suspect I'm on the LinkedIn live cold calling right now. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that happened with Junior. It was crazy. If you Dude, know, you know. Crazy. Oh my God. Jake, give us the <laughs> no. is this all being recorded in Nooks, by the way? Uh, I Could think be, it's yeah. recorded by the live stream, um, not directly. It is on LinkedIn. Yeah. We yeah. should consider recording it as well in Nooks if that's possible. Yeah. yeah because we... we're going to be building a content repository of everything. Okay. In yeah. like Guru. So it's going to, so in our Slack, people are going to be able to say, I want to see LinkedIn cold calling and like, it'll come up yeah. with like everything. Yeah. No, I think we could get that to work. Let's go to Yehuda and um, let's go to Yehuda in his room and share his cold call. Like, obviously, like Mormon Church is, you know, a huge, huge, uh, you know, uh, uh, entity. And you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking here for us, us, us more information about what you're currently using for network observability. Well, I'm not sure what I'm allowed to say. Hey, that's 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 totally fine. No, uh, it, 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 so, uh, so uh, 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 excuse me. So so let's do this. Um, most most companies your size are using some kind of legacy uh, tool like Splunk or SolarWinds, Thousand Eyes. Uh, you're probably using one of those, right? Don't tell me which. Yeah. All right. Um, so what what we do um, that that those companies don't is that. We apply the machine learning to, uh, to, uh, to the network, and we're able to uh, get rid of all those false positives that, that uh, these legacy tools uh, produce. Uh, so you probably, um, you know, a, a, a network your size is probably coming up with a couple hundred or a thousand alerts a day, right? We get plenty. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Um, so, so hey. Uh, I, I, I figure it would make your job a lot easier if if you could probably make it so only the ones that were actually important came through, right? Again, where this is going is I, I don't even know the people who make the, the purchasing decisions. And so I, it, 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 it's, it's 
really this conversation really does no nobody any good because I I I, I make no difference in the world when it comes to purchasing decisions. Gotcha. So, um, hey, you know, I, I uh, can listen all I want, but in the end, it's a waste of your time. It really is. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I, I totally get that. Um, can I just ask you for a quick favor? Uh, well, you can always ask. I can't promise I can. <laughs> yeah, um, thank you. Uh, you. So I'll send you over an email. Do you mind just forwarding that to, uh, to your manager? See, see if he knows where to send it? Yeah, I can do that. All right, cool. Thanks. Um, uh, I, 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 so I have obviously the wrong name and probably the wrong email here too. What's a, 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 a good email to use? Okay. And you have to do me a favor. Sure. If I give it to you, you have to delete it immediately. All right. If one, one want, email and gone. You got it. I don't want any marketing material sent to me. I don't want, I don't want it to be given to anybody else. Deal, deal, no problem. So it's S. Butler at Family Circle. It should always be healthy, but choose your time wisely. Yeah, true. True that. True that, Paul. I am right there with you. You got to choose your choose your time wisely. Absolutely. So I'm not going to take much more of your time. Um, but say so what I would love to. Jesse Allett, he's the founder of Lead Magic. He obviously knows the ins and outs and ups and downs in between of all things Lead Magic. I want him. So that's okay. Yeah, he's he's um, his title is the correct title. Um, it's just depending on the size of the company uh, where that actually fits. Right. Um, he, he says he's way too low. Doesn't do any. Uh, purchasing decisions, which which could be. So I think I think for everyone else that's listening, though, one of the takeaways from that call that I think that you handled really well was like, I'm not going to share. I don't want to share that information. A lot of times when you're like, especially in security, but like this happens a couple of times even for us, is where they say I don't want to share. You can just mention, well, you're probably using one of these, you know, and that's like likely. And I I love that strategy. That was really really brilliant way to handle that. Um, so thank you. So yeah, no, that was that was good. And for anyone else, feel free to copy that because that's that was a really solid, solid strategy. Thanks, appreciate that. <laughs> Love it. Jared, right, let's hop to Amelia. Let's go What's to that? Amelia's. Let's go to Amelia's. Yeah. This a lot of people use this solely for their benefit and their gain without having to go and pitch this internally. If I were you. And this is what I do a bit. So I'm going to tell you my secret here. Um, it gives me a leg up exponentially because I'm able to see that. Whereas some of my team members aren't necessarily having that insight. When I first joined the company I'm with, it's where I, you know, you want to get ahead, right? So I know that you haven't been with Hierology too terribly long. What, through month three or four, I believe I saw on your LinkedIn. So but that being said, if you want to have it to where it's you're very much so, you know, getting that leg up on your own before, because I don't want you to have to go and pitch something internally and me not be in the room with you that, you know, I don't want to put that on your shoulders. Yeah, no, I got you. I can, um, yeah, I, I think the motive behind it would be to build the use case. Um, you get I, it. I think as, a, as opposed to a leg up. So I wouldn't be opposed to that. I can definitely, uh, I'd love to look into it and can get give it give it a try. I just I I can't see it making any impact right until until August. So. Yeah, totally, totally. I hear you. So there's a quick like a quick win out of it for August. I mean, for July, it just makes more sense to talk about August. I mean, we can get you a quick win if you want real quick from it. I mean, it takes five minutes to set up. If you want to do jump on a call real quick this afternoon. What are your thoughts? Do you need a quick win? Everybody needs a quick win, right? Well, I mean, everybody 
everybody wants a quick win, but it's also balancing time, right? I've got, uh, when you look at lead stages and opportunity stages, right, I feel like there's a few quick wins in there that I need to brush up that I've got a little more qualification on, if you will. So let's, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I hear you. I, I, I got a opportunity cost, but I am very interested um, in, it is something that we are dealing with and um i'm happy did you did you book a meeting you're muted you're muted i did yes oh was it a person like a person walking off that no it wasn't a person walking by oh. no it was a phone call unfortunately oh, oh no, no it that's wasn't good. as cool okay okay no, no, no that's cool yeah i uh, I do have a question. So I think that Junior just called the guy that I just called. No. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I was that's like, funny. wait a second. Is that what just took place here? So I don't know if he did or not, but I think that's what just happened. But I did get the meeting. So I just wanted you guys to know. I'm still Amazing. in the game. Amazing. All right. Amelia. Where are we? What's the scoreboard? I believe Junior or no. Um, Jake has one. Uh, Amelia has one. I don't know if she's going to close this one. So we'll have to find out. Uh, and then okay. uh, you got one too. So um, I think that's all, right. that's all we have right now on the board. Let's go. That's I'm going to go back are? to Amelia. Okay. 1 p.m. I could do 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. I'm going to add Jesse on as well. 1 or 2 p.m. Both are free for me. Are either of those good for you, Eastern? What is Wednesday look like? Wednesday? Let's see. What does Wednesday look like for you? I could do 11. Or 12. I've got, I've got, it'll be, let's, let's do, uh, let's, I can do noon on Wednesday, that'll work. Noon? Okay. I've got two, between two and three, if that's better for you. I don't want it to be too tight. If you've got stuff going on. No, I'll, I'll do, I'll do noon and use it as a little lunch and learn per se. Oh, lunch and learn. Beautiful. I love that. That's great. Okay. Awesome. Um, I hate that, but it's okay. You hate that? <laughs> And I slightly do too, but we don't have to talk about it again. We'll pretend you didn't say it, okay? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I'm not agree, but <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. Um, okay, so no lunch and learn, but we can have lunch and still learn, right? We'll do that. I just have to say ROI before you hang up. That's all I ask. I'll say ROI before I hang up. All right. Okay. Well, the ROI will show for itself, I promise, okay? <laughs> Um, I, I do. Well, you know what? Do this. Will you have your, actually, will you just tell me, um, I'll text you my email and the, the best email to reach me and, or we can communicate via text, whatever, but if you need us in the invite, that's fine. I just, I need a prep for this upcoming call. Go, 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 go do your thing really quick. Just go. Read off the go dogs and read off your email to me really quick, just because I want to make sure I have the right one. what we sell you know what i mean two different yeah. places in this journey i would imagine yeah. but i was like wait a second really i was That's hilarious i was looking at the transcript for your guys room and i think i saw it. you guys both booked the same person is that correct no she booked the person i could not oh book. oh she okay you called them oh <laughs> That's hilarious. It's not like that. It's not like you could have <laughs> just different times, different journeys, different products. Yes, totally. Totally. Fair the enough. The funny oh, backstory funny. though is like he gave his phone number in the last live and was like, Hey, somebody call me. I'm a new set. Like I'm oh, new at what I'm doing. So I might okay. need to. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you added him to the list. Smart strategy. Yeah. Good strategy. Mm, yeah. And you can be yeah. like, it's a LinkedIn live now. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it's, all right. It I got well. I got okay. a thing to I'm win. So I'm gonna keep dialing. Go for okay. it. Go for I know. It. I think this is my like. This is how I'm doing this. Distracting you. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go back to Amelia. What? I is don't know if that was out of line or funny. Mom, Emily, and sis. <laughs> like. 
for the viewers, the for the viewers, recap what happened uh, because I went over to, I went over to Junior and Rebecca's room. Oh, Jake's on too, but yeah. What happened was that I was called mom, and I was called sis and Emily by the so prospects. Yeah, it was really weird. Yeah. That is strange. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot. Didn't even hear he, it. Oh my gosh. Then he was like, "I want to. I just want you to say ROI before we get off the phone." And I was like, "Okay, you'll see ROI." And then he was like, um, "He was like, well, you know, we can make it like a lunch and learn on on eleven or, or on noon uh, on Wednesday, uh, whatever." He's like, "I actually hate that." And I was like, "Yeah, we will pretend you didn't say it, whatever." But um, a little strange. Hey, but- he said he a little strange. He just. Okay, he just accepted those. So that was like the quickest thing ever. Um, there you go. All, All right. right. Well. All right. So a little update on the scoreboard. Junior booked a meeting. Um, Rebecca also booked a meeting. Funny story. Junior and Rebecca both called the same person. Rebecca booked. No. Junior did it. <laughs> Which is oh, funny. Oh, did that say something about like a female calling and a male call? I don't know. No. Well, they're selling different girl. products, right? So they're selling different products. Yeah. Yeah. So not all, um, not both are all. I think uh, is that Jake has got meeting booked from Amelia. It's second for Amelia. Yeah, Jake just got two as well. Yeah. So what I hear, Jake, come over here. Let's go. Let's, let's go to Jake. Yeah. Let's go to Jake. Let's- What's good? You heard? You booked? Uh, you booked your second? Yep, got another one on the books. I uh, I don't know. Am I supposed to like ping you guys or something when I get a pickup, or, or am I just like failing at this? <laughs> no, no, no. You're good. You're good. It's just there was a lot of pickups happening, so we were bouncing between. Okay, them. cool. We'll make sure I was next like, one. Dude, I don't know if I'm supposed to do something. No, we we, we could tell you were on a pickup, but we were just listening to other calls. We'll make sure the next one we get you on. Um, but that's badass. Tell it's us, okay, man. Tell the tell the story. Uh, I'll tell the recap for the audience uh, how, how you booked it. Okay. So called this guy and um, I kind of mismatched him a little bit on my initial 30-second uh, commercial. Yeah. And the 30-second commercial are just three pains that we identify that business owners similar to his industry will probably have. Um, and there wasn't a strong connection there. And so I had to kind of take a step back and just dive a little bit deeper on what his situation was. And then I was able to find out that his true pain was, was hiring, um, getting A players. Um, and so that's something that we help with at Sandler Training as well, is recruiting, hiring, making sure we vet people so they can actually come and do a good job um, for other companies. And uh, so it was kind of back and forth, right? He wasn't really biting and didn't want to book a meeting. And so we have something that's called the Top Priority Survey. And that survey literally has like all of anyone's potential pain points for like that type of business. And generally if they fill that out and send it back to us, it's a really solid, like it it goes from a kind of like, okay meeting to like an all-star, like super warm meeting. And so I was like, listen, is it okay if I make a suggestion? And he was like, yeah. And he kind of chuckled, right? Cause he had shut me down a few times. And I was like, would you be opposed if I sent you the survey We'll set up a meeting for Friday. If there's nothing relevant, you know, on that survey, you message me and say, hey, this is a waste of my time. I'll never bug you again. Um, If there's some relevancy, which I'm sure there will be when he looks at it. Right. um, We'll go ahead and just have this on for Friday, but we can cancel it if we need to. That's great. And so I would say it's not like an all star, like top of the line, top tier meeting, but I would still count it as an opportunity nonetheless. Yeah. Because I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be able to meet with them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like that where it's like you're aligning beforehand. And a lot of people forget to kind of, they'll book the meeting. But I think there's a lot of work you can do beforehand, before the meeting to like make it as successful as possible. And like things like you're mentioning, aligning on priorities and, and things like that is, is something that, yeah. yeah, that's badass. Cool. And when you say that, I actually kind of failed. Uh, one of the things I'll generally do is my post sell. And after I've kind of booked the meeting, there's this cool like vibe that you have with your your prospect writer, potential client, where all the pressure is just gone from that that conversation because you both came to an agreement. You're like, yeah, okay, we'll 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 go for that time, and then you can get a little bit more 
aggressive and sure up that appointment. I feel like a lot of SDRs and or AEs fail because they'll set a solid appointment, but then they don't have any homework in between. Mm-hmm. And then they don't really make sure that they're going to show up. And so a post sell might sound something like, hey, Jared, you know, last week I met with a, a, another client. Um, we set a really good appointment and he just didn't show up to the, the call. Um, you don't see anything like that happening here, do you? <laughs> right. And you're putting them on the spot, yeah. right? You're yeah. calling them out, but in a, in a, in a kind of nurturing way. Right. And they're like, oh, no, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And then you go one step further. So, you know, let's say, you know, it's a day before the meeting. I still don't have that survey back. You know, what would you like me to do? And that they have to respond, right? And they're yeah. like, oh, well, uh, just send me an email and remind me and I'll get it done, right? <laughs> and then I'll ask them again, okay, what if that, what if it doesn't happen? What if you get busy, something happens, it slips your mind, what should I do? And then they'll tell you exactly what, right, you what do, they right? should do to get it. Yeah, I, mean, I love that. So I love that. When you do that post sell, it really just helps to make sure to solidify that appointment and your show rate goes exponentially up. All right, guys, if you're listening and you have low show rates on your meetings booked, Jake's got some good advice. So uh, follow, <laughs> follow his tips because that's that's some gold advice there. Because there's there's a lot of space between the meeting booked and, and, and like you said, and that's opportunity, right? And, and to exactly. continue the conversation. So don't don't sleep on that. I love it. I love, love that. it. This is fun, you guys. I'm I'm like oh. having the time of my life. So thanks for inviting me. Are guys. you are you on to number two, Jake? He's got him yeah. too. So keep going, Jake, because I keep going because I think you, if you get I mean, a third, I mean, I mean, I just got two as well. Um, Does she? Yeah. Okay, I gotta keep dialing. Yeah, yeah, keep dialing. Keep dialing. <laughs> Becky and Junior are good. Keep dialing. Okay. All right. I'm going. Thanks, guys. All right. Let's go into Amelia. Yeah. Amelia let's let's hop into here. Amelia. And, yeah. and and where's Rebecca? She was. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to Amelia. I'm not exactly sure what it is that they use. Okay. But you don't have that where you're able to see it, right? Uh, you know, I never even asked. So I'm going to go with no. You're going to go with no. And the beautiful thing is I'm about to tell you that now you're going to be able to see that information. Yay. So, and even better totally free um t- there's a what right i know so i use this um and with you being an ae as well and me being an ae there's a crazy benefit that goes along with it so lead magic is the company so jesse allett he might have seen him all over linkedin yes jesse's a great human um one of the best so i want i would love for you two to actually sync up so he can help you specifically get the lead magic platform working for you to give you this leg up to show you, you know, okay, this is exactly how these anonymous web visitors can be converted into customers for you. Um, and especially going into a new month, let's just kind of get you going in, you know, the right, the right direction. Um, and you haven't been there too long either, which is one of the best parts as well that you can show just really what you're what you're capable of right um because you're doing the go-to-market team stuff too correct can you repeat the question you're good you're working you're working on the go-to-market team is that right oh yeah that's correct yeah actually cool. i'm in a, a whole new business segment um that we're we've been growing like crazy i oh that's amazing i'm i right when you said that i read driving revenue growth and then I at the end I put like crazy in my mind because you just said <laughs> you said that so filling in the blanks on all your stuff so um with you know with lead magic like I said there's a free trial to where it's okay. uh, you know kind of dip your toes in the water but it's totally warm it's like you know exactly what you need in order to be able to see who's driving um to the website for you to be able to take advantage of it Mm -hmm. if it's something you feel is that your whole entire team can take advantage of great let's kind of generate some roi for you to show the benefits of it as use case as well you know study to share and go from there uh it was you right yes sir you are correct um do you mind if i ask you a couple questions shoot go for it i'm ready so i love this idea i think it sounds really cool um one of the things is here 
um, like, I know, like, cybersecurity is kind awesome. of... The old neighbors again, yeah. Yeah, did you guys smoke any uh, any meats for the barbecue or just kind of do traditional hot dogs and hamburgers? They, we, it was kind of potluck, and they had, they did have, like, a pulled pork or something. I'm not sure what they did, but... That's awesome. Was it pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, it was good. Not I'm bad. Barbecue, right? I'm... I like everything else. I like all the other things, the fruit and oh. salads. Yeah. So you're a little bit more health conscious than me. I'd just be like caveman style <laughs> on that meat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, I know that you and I have uh, connected a few times and, um, I know last time you were able to join for the cold call session we did with Josie. Yeah. Um, what did you think of that? Was that pretty intense? <laughs> That's intense. That is intense. But she did, did great. Good. And I, yeah. I actually kind of picked up a little bit from what she was doing. She uses her computer instead of her phone to make phone calls. And I think that's kind of a little almost helpful. Oh, yeah it gets the phone out of the picture. I don't know. I think it streamlines the process a little bit, right? Yeah. And you just yeah, click and so. call and it, yeah. And then your hands yeah. are free to do what you need for typing. And so I've been kind That's of cool. trying, experimenting with that a little bit more. Yeah, no, we, we should do one of those again. And, um, Actually, I was calling because I wanted to see if uh, maybe it would make sense for you and I to, I know we tried to schedule a few times and they didn't work out in the past because you've just been so crazy busy, but um, do you have any openings maybe next week or the week after that so we can uh, connect? Let me Check grab my meeting. calendar real quick. Well, I'll pull my well, I can't believe we're in August. That's insane. I know. What is going on? I swear they turned on CERN and I don't even know what century I'm in anymore. <laughs> Junior and Becca see. both got I... meetings? Damn. Dude, too many meetings. So what do you Next know? week is actually probably a little bit better for me than the week after. Okay. Yeah, I can. So busy. just take peeking at my calendar, I have some openings on Monday or Monday, August 1st. Um, or Wednesday and Friday. Do one of those three days work for you? This, uh, I've got a... Is that me? No, it's not me yet. Um, I can do later, like around 4 or in the morning. Okay, so on Monday I have an 8 a.m. first thing in the morning. If that's a bad time, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. would be best. Yeah. yeah, I can do Wednesday at 4 p.m. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'll throw this uh, calendar invite on here for us, and um, we can kind of discuss a little bit further. Maybe you and I can schedule a cold calling session, and we'll kind of go over a few things that might be helpful for you. Okay, okay. that'll be All great. Right. Hey, Regan, thanks for, for picking up. Hey. It was a nice connecting with you again. We'll talk. Uh, yeah, you too, today. Jake. <laughs> All right. Stay safe. <laughs> um, we'll talk soon. Okay, you too. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Let's go. That's uh, that's three for Jake. Bang. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. That was – the, the, the report building there was fantastic. Like – Talking about the brisket, a few minutes, like you're like two minutes in, you haven't even brought up meeting. Like you literally were just talking about the barbecue. <laughs> that was Dude, it's all about connecting with the person, right? Yeah. yeah. Like that rapport can be so powerful and it's, it's really disarmed honesty is what we call it. Like you're trying to just have a real conversation, a real connection with the person like you would with a close yeah. friend, right? You can do that on every call, man. It's like game over. But it's not as yeah, easy as it sounds. It's, it, it's it a is cold. Difficult. Normally, it's a cold call, so they don't know you. So it's, <laughs> rapport building is difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I've been trying to book her, believe it or not, for months, dude. Wow. And it just happened that we finally got her on the show today. Like, uh, it's one of these things I've kind of been like, come on, just book. And she's like, okay, cool. I know. So 
I think by the while Jake, you're on the call, both Junior and Rebecca booked. So I think they're also at two now. So we are at 10. Okay. And Amelia is three. Oh my God, Amelia. Me and Amelia? Both of you guys are three. Oh, uh, calm down, Not bro. Not for nothing. Not for nothing. If, if an SDR manager hired everybody here, Oh, not my syllabus. Like, 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 this is actually a really strong bunch. Insane. I mean, we're talking six plus uh, uh, four meetings. So that's 10 meetings in this hour, which is insane. Let's be honest. Oh, though, yeah. They could not afford if, us. If, if you're the manager of anybody on this call, um, give them performance reviews, give them chances to get raises quickly because. And, are... and as a plug for <laughs> Nooks, I will say you bring everyone in the same room virtually in nooks and it's like the energy levels it it helps it creates that competitive spirit so <laughs> this is awesome like nooks, seriously so, the, amazing. Uh, amazing so our you know it, it's it's great and that's important to understand like with rev league we had you know three core principles to what differentiates one being camaraderie you know other people in the same room two um process and not templates right like that that's big and that was a big takeaway like everyone could give templates whatever like jake you and i and everyone here knows it's the core confidence like yes you could have cold call trips they they help tremendously uh but it's the person behind them that's booking the meetings and um and, and you know figuring out the processes there and third is is tools once, once you have like the camaraderie and that core confidence layering in tools to, to hyperspeed, whether it's power mm -hmm. dialers, whether it's uh, phenomenal data yeah. that, that actually gets these cell phone numbers, like you could have all of that, but if you don't have the data, you're not at go, right? right? You're, you're, you're Googling and, and that's, we, we laugh today, but that's the way it was five that's years true. ago. That's, and that's not even a lie. Yeah. Jared, let's hop into junior. We haven't listened to junior yet. So let's hop into junior's room. He's got to pick okay? up. He's got to pick up. Is it okay if I uh, mention that we chatted? Um, sure. Okay. And, and I'll tell him that. Expect the call. I got to go. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Robert. Bye. Oh, damn. Damn. All right. Well, you got I'm it. Not Is that a person, referral? But you got a referral. I got the name. I got you the did. name, and I can uh, use it. Give him a ring. So not too bad. That works. Not too bad. Yeah. Man, guys, the score is really tight. Amelia, Jake, both at three. You guys are both at two. Okay. Should we do like a, should we do like double value last like seven minutes? Oh, <laughs> ooh, double value last seven uh, minutes. Three, two. So Amelia, two. Jake, no, three. three. I could do junior two. Thank you for calling Innova Payroll, nice. the smart way to pay. Yeah. I got to start getting through these numbers. Everyone's just hanging. Oh, yeah, we can. Well, that's a fun part. And you can, and Nooks, you can dial the same room too. So it's fun because mm. Junior, when you get a pickup, I didn't realize that. when you get a pickup, you won't hear anyone else. So we can actually be here talking, chatting while you're dialing. And when you get the pickup, you just take the call. Nice. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, keep it, keep it ringing. So get that next. Thank you for calling Enterprise DB. We're going rapid fire. I know. I know. Dang, Jake's already going to pick up. All right, we're going to hop to that room. Best of luck. Keep, keep right. getting those connects. <laughs> yeah. In the market, right? I'm trying, man. Yeah. No, it's all about the grind. Hey, I, um, I actually just got off the phone with Regan. She and I had scheduled a meeting for next week. I know that you guys kind of uh, work in the same uh, office there. So I was like, hey, man, I'll reach back out to Josh. I know that we connected a few months ago, and maybe the timing wasn't quite right. So um, zero pressure. You can tell me no and hang up on me right now. Um, but if you're willing to roll the dice, maybe uh, we get some time on the calendar sometime this month when you're not closing meetings. Uh, I appreciate you reaching out, man. I think I'm going to pass for now. Um, but feel free to check back next month or maybe the month after. Um, I'm just, I'm feeling a little spread. I'm spread a little thin right now. So. Yeah, no, I get that. And so I think uh, you and I have had a conversation in the past. Like the last thing I want to do is like follow up inappropriately or keep bugging you and chiming in your ear, like Jiminy Cricket. So should I really follow up like next month or the month after, or is that just like, Hey, I'm just trying to be nice and uh, 
<laughs> uh, I'm just kind of no, going. No, feel free. Okay, I just don't want to make sure I'm like bugging you or, or kind of like being the weird stalker kid trying to follow up with you inappropriately. I love that. No, that's cool, man. No, oh. I know the game, dude. You're okay. good. I, I'm just like I said, I've got a ton going on right now, and after my kid gets in school, uh, I, I think I'll be a little more settled. So. Oh uh, yeah, the summer months, month, right? Month <laughs> Yep. yep. No school. I get it, bro. Okay. I will put a note here. I'll reach out back uh, next month. And then what I'll probably do is just put a ping in here to resend those uh, surveys as a refresher. Um, take a peek at those. And then you oh, and I right, can right. definitely kind of see what most relevant to you. Um, the last thing I want to do is schedule something. And then you and I just kind of go over whatever. Um, so those surveys will help us just to focus on your top priorities, what what's important to you, your business, so we can have a meaningful conversation, right, and sure. not waste your time. Yep, sounds good, man. Okay. All right, brother, I'll reach out to you next month. Should I save a placeholder with a calendar in have to, next month sometime, make... or should I just call you? Oh, oh Junior's calling. What is good? All right, well, none of you guys got the surprise by your boss being on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, Vish and I were like, wait, who is Nick? <laughs> Um, oh, that's great. <laughs> My boss. Surprise. Hey, Nick, good to see you. Surprise. Oh, we got a Nooks bond. Yeah, we're, we're actually Your right around the corner from each other. I, think. Voice testing system. I love it. <laughs> Junior is, is so not funny. letting go. He's like, I might be in the lobby, but I'm going to win this in the lightning round. <laughs> All right, how many minutes do we have left? Minutes. Like one yeah, minute? Yeah, like four minutes. So we're, we, have, we have four minutes. You know, we... we should we say the last five minutes of the lightning round? We're sorry, for the number you have dialed is not in service. Because if it's if it's 10 or 15 minutes, like people could do nothing and then just like come out. <laughs> mm, that's true. That's okay. True. All right. Five we minutes. Nick lightning here. round. We got lightning round right now. <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nick is, decided is, to bomb me. <laughs> Nick, is somebody in trouble? No. <laughs> Thank you for calling Next Tech. Please listen. It's just here All to right, manage. Nick, as much fun. As I know, this is micromanaging at its finest. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, Nick, I'm going into my own room. If you have any advice, share it with the world. Love You're it, bouncing out. Nick, Nick is able to make calls for Rebecca for the next three minutes. Oh, my God. Wow, there you go. And Nick. that's her lightning rod. He came on. What's he doing? <laughs> I, I don't know if Nick can even hear that. Message, and I'll get back to you. God. I would leave a message, but I can't right now. Can't do Junior, it. Junior, you got to... Um... Thank you for calling Boomtown. For sales, press mm -hmm. one. Junior, I was going to say, you got to record, do the auto voicemail drop in our dialer. You can record. I know. I keep looking at it, and I'm like, I need to record that. I didn't show up early enough to do it. But I will next time. Next time. And my next time is in. I'm about to book a meeting and make it next week. <laughs> oh, snap. Confidence. J Jake? Jake, Jake is... and Amelia are on pickup. Oh my god! And are they? I think they're going the for the tiebreaker. Please try again. Okay, let's go to Amelia. Wait, let's go to Jake. All right, let's go to Jake. Jake. I guess I'll pause there, uh, Jason. Um, I don't suppose any of those are, are similar to, I guess, relevant to your world, are they? Uh, I think I guess a little bit. Um, you know, our biggest pinch point is recruiting i guess finding people and yeah attention tell me a little bit more about that is it just finding anybody or just finding a players uh cdl drivers cdl drivers Those okay. actually want to work yep. yeah no i i can relate i have a cousin who owns a trucking business as well and that's one of her biggest headaches um and so is it people that are licensed or people that actually want to show up to work? Because I know there's two, two variables there. What do you mean, a licensed? Yeah, because you, you could have someone that has the CDL license, right? And then there are other truckers that just don't show up. They're not reliable. Which one, I guess, would you be, uh, I guess, more concerned with? Oh, my God. I think Amelia just got four. Hold on. Oh, uh, those haven't. Everyone's so nice. Love that. I mean, like, did you get four? Yeah, you know, four. Oh. I've been trying to be my size that I got that one time, but the the one um <laughs> that one guy, I realized I did that because I was like, oh, we've got the same last name. 
because his last name was Taylor too. So I was like, maybe we're family. Oh, that's okay. why he, I. That's why he was saying like mom, sis. Okay, so <laughs> not a I weird prospect. <laughs> you kind of put that on yourself. <laughs> That's funny. Which is like oh, a really common it. thing. All right, guys. Jake has the opportunity to tie it right now with this with this call right now. Well, Maybe. shit, I gotta make another call. Rebecca, where's yeah, I'm gonna pull up my calendar here. He's looking. So Tuesday I could do something around 9 30 a.m. or sorry, 10 a.m. Or I could do a 1.30 p.m. if afternoon's better. Or we could do Wednesday. Does one of those times work for you on Tuesday or should we shoot for Wednesday? Uh, so Tuesday at 10 a.m. would be fine. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this now. What's a good email I can send you an update so it pings you? Uh, so it's Jason, J-A-S-O-N, at J solutions s-o-l-u-t-i-o-n-s and it's a dot l-l-c okay cool so i'll send over this invite i'm also going to send over to you a top priority survey the survey is just going to help to identify maybe any other areas that you might be interested to discuss that we've helped with uh, other businesses similar to yours um, if you could fill that out maybe like at least the day before so maybe on that monday and shoot it back to me. It'll just help us to have a meaningful conversation and only focus on the things you actually care about that are important to you and your business. Do you think you'll have some time to fill that out? It takes about 10 minutes before we meet. No, possibly. Okay, cool. So I'll shoot both of those things over to you. And uh, the last thing I wanna do is like waste your time, right? I don't want us to get on a call and then it's just like, hey, this is pointless. Um, so that survey will kind of help protect both of us from that. Um, so I know you're busy and it's one more thing to do, but if you get a little break, you're eating some breakfast or lunch, maybe fill that out if you can, okay? Okay, all right, sounds good. Cool. cool. And then uh, I'll get this on for Tuesday at 10 a.m. then, and I look forward to connecting with you and discussing how we can help you find some A players, some drivers there. Okay, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks. Uh, thanks for your time. We'll talk soon. Yep. Take care. Bye. Bye. Did you, did you book that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a meeting, and that's lightning round two. So if we are counting as lightning round, that goes from four to five. Really? Okay. Well, you were already at four. Or, oh, I see. Yeah, four to five. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So that would have been um, my... Let's let's yeah. check where everyone's at. It's twelve oh three. The it time is. is done. We're not good at, at boundaries. I know this is the boundary. But let's over. holy cow, Jake. Love let's that. get everybody. Uh, let, well, let's let's go in here. I just texted a, a call. I'm running late on. I back to back. Yeah, let's bed. let's so clearly that's not happening. <laughs> Jared, pleasure to meet you. Thanks for having me, guys. Jake, like anytime you Jake, want, to back on the wait. show. Jake, as of now, let's do the tally. As of now, you're coming back. Amelia. So let's, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. All right let's, let's, let's join. Let's, let's join the Nick group. Junior, Rebecca, and let's and tally everything up. See what's up here. He uses. Um, All right. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, guys. <laughs> it is time, essentially. Uh, are we, doing, everybody? <laughs> we we are done for today. That went by way too fast. All right. Well, that was fun. That was fun. We had a lot of meetings booked. I need I'm, to hear Amanda's, but uh, Jake, Jake is in first place. And with nice, or without Jake. the lightning round, he's in first. With the lightning round, and, and I'm still feeling this through how I like it, he's at five meetings. Without, he's at four. four well, Amelia meetings. has four, too. So um, Amelia has four, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amelia has four, too. Amelia has four, and she's on her fifth pickup. So let, let's see about that. Oh. Let's go into oh. Amelia. Everybody into oh. Amelia's room? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. I'm really go. awful at the buzzer. Oh, amazing. Okay, um, you're easy to talk to. I wish everyone was nice to you. Actually, you're kind of, um, you sound like you have to go, so we're going to be quick, okay? So let's do this. Um, you're busy. I'm busy. Let's chat Tuesday next week. Does that sound good? Maybe da, 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 your Pacific time, aren't you? What about 11 a.m.? on Tuesday or yeah 
<laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes and no. Um, hello. Tuesday, three p.m. So noon for you or four p.m. Yeah, I can. I can. Noon, amazing. Yes. All right. Do you have my email? I have your email. Do you want to tell me what it is again? and Jesse, the founder, and then there we go. Um, you're going to see us in a few seconds. If you could, go ahead and, and it'll be out of sight, out of mind. Go ahead and just accept. So then we can just go enjoy your weekend uh, in a month, all of that. Then we'll be uh, good to go to chat noon, your time on the 26th. Or no, uh, sorry, the 26th. What am I saying? On the, what? No, the, wait, the third? No, the second, right? You see, it's the Okay. Silly, you're being silly over there. Um, all right, we can do the third. We can do both. We'll do. We'll stick with. I'm just kidding. We'll do both. You want double demo? Oh man, demo stack. I thought you wanted to stack those demos up. All right. Well, let's do. Wait, who's that? Nick Caposi. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh, well, you're too funny. Okay, listen. Oh, I said hi. Yeah. Go, go, go. All right. Talk to you Thank Tuesday. You. Thanks. Bye. Nice. Dang. We are out of five. Nice five and six. That's uh, five and six. If you count the lightning round, that was two. There, you double count. So, so she's five to four or six to five, right? All right. Yeah. Well, Amelia moves on. Uh, do, do we allow Jake to move on with as the, well? With the buzzer beater, too. <laughs> so I Amelia know. moves on. I, Amelia, I, I, got I, a note. Like, hmm. I got a note um, just in at the nick of time 10 minutes ago that Dooley is going to sponsor your belt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Dooley and All right. Figured it out Let's go. And got it sponsored. It just, oh, it, yeah. Amazing. Um, but even it, the best part is like there's a partnership we've got with Julie. So like I, it's probably yeah, so if it doesn't come like through, you. Web Genius is sponsoring the belt and uh <laughs> and the other side of things. Actually, by me announcing it, it it there's a better chance, right? So uh Amelia gets the belt no matter what, courtesy of our friends at Dooley. Congrats. Uh, Thanks, y'all. But I seriously, had a six. Do we do we do we allow Jake to come back or what, Vishnu? And, and I think Rohan? Jake needs that a rematch. Really good effort. I think Jake needs a rematch. Jake, you want to you want a rematch, but you want. Why, why don't, I'll Amelia take you on any time. But you but, did but because of yeah. honorable mention being so effing good. I think we have to let him back. I'll I do whatever know. the crowd no. wants. Let's let the let's let the crowd vote. <laughs> Thumbs up. Oh, oh man, Jake's like let the people decide. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Next okay. Next week, Where are we next at? week is August fourth. That means we have Josh Roth coming on. Oh, good. Oh, that's, great. Oh, that's good. That's very okay. good. <laughs> he is coming on. I also got a note from Brian Els Elsler. Uh, oh, good. A faster, he casual wants to come on. I don't know the dates there. Josh Roth is confirmed. Love it. So, go good. Love that. For sure. Let's go, everybody. Thank you again for another episode of LinkedIn Live. Um, same time, same place next week. Let's fucking go. Yeah, seriously, all around, we booked, what, five, four, plus four? That's 13 meetings? That's insane. Four, five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 meetings. 13 That's meetings. You guys want to start a company or something? And, or like special, <laughs> special appearance from Mitch. <laughs> 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 That's a pretty good little group here. So. Another, yeah, so this, this is a sales development team. Nick is actually here looking to hire everybody here. Nick's like, this is just recruiting. Just kidding. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Um, Do I get to keep my job? Do I get to keep my job? <laughs> you get to keep your job. All right. Until next week. By all the way, right. thank you, Rebecca and Junior. You, you all crushed it. Um, we are going to have redemption. I don't know when, but 
but we'd love to have you back when the timing is right. We'll, we'll put that to a vote. Um, Amelia moves on next week. We'll talk about Jake, Josh, Roth, and others coming in hot next week. It'll be the toughest yeah. ever. Amelia's yeah. belt is actually coming to fruition. Amelia, did you get your your Rev Genius swag at least? Oh my gosh, you meant to put my hood up the whole time today. Yeah. Put your hood up. Yeah, that's all part of it. Dang. You, you next week is happening. Is it good? Up, belt on. Does it fit well? Is it yes, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Perfect. I got it. I'll have to put it. Yeah. I'll, yeah. All that good. Next person, next week you're coming back. You're wearing the swag. Have an awesome day. You don't need to go home or to the office, but you got to get the heck out of here. See you next week. <laughs> Take care. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.